This is Luke, and I'm DeAndre, and we're going to go over a brief um, walkthrough of a robot. So starting off with our chassis, this is an Andymark chassis running four inch mechanum wheels. We really like this because we're able to strafe around and we have a lot more maneuverability around the field, which gives us a lot of opportunities for collecting the desired cones and going to the junctions when it'd be a little bit hard to align without it. And then for our lifting mechanism, we have an Andymark three stage compact linear slide. Um, we really like it because of its simplicity with a single motor. Um, it's similar to like drawer slides, so it's got very easy up and down motion. For our intake over here, we have this nice wedge top wheel tread that is very rubbery and grippy so that when we're able to go up and approach a cone, we can use this Rev Smart Servo and grip down and it gives us a nice strong hold on the cone so we're able to accurately and positively control it until we get to where we want to place it. Uh, after doing some quick field testing, um, we found for teams to consider that the amount of ground clearance that they have on the sides and the front and the back of the robot as it can make it difficult to traverse over the ground terminals. If you have more space, it allows you to slide easily um, forward and backwards over them and move around the field easier. Thank you again for watching our Robot 30 Hour Build here at Ketter University. I'm Luke. I'm Cole. And I'm DeAndre. And we're going to give a little wrap up of what we accomplished this weekend. So here we have our robot. We're overall really proud of how this turned out. We have a mechanum chassis, a linear slide elevator, and then a really consistent gripper that is able to collect and place cones anywhere that we want on the field. Just a reminder, this has been what we have accomplished in 30 hours, only 30 hours. We'd love to see all the innovations, how you take our ideas and go crazy with them and everything that you guys accomplish over the season. So take it and run with it. Right now, as B-section students at Kettering University, the three of us are on our co-op term. Co-op means that we are working full-time at engineering companies and companies in our field of study getting real-world experience. I'm a mechanical engineering student working at Molex, one of the world's top connector companies. I'm a mechanical engineering student working at Ford, one of the top OEMs. I am an electrical and computer engineer working at Conrad Technologies. We specialize in ADAS and RF test solutions. The co-op program and the FTC Robot in 30 Hours are just some of the great opportunities available to students here at Kettering University. Another will be coming up in January when we have our FRC Robot in 3 Days build. Be sure to stay tuned for that and follow the links in the description to learn more about Kettering University. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu first.